everyone welcome back to my channel so sorry I haven't been recording videos but I'm moving soon and I've been watching houses and um, so basically I didn't actually have time to film so 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 about that I thought I got my new glossy box for August so it's time to film a video and it's uh, the 10th anniversary of glossy box so it looks like I don't know it looks like it's a party it looks like kind of like a party theme and I think the theme is 10 years of beauty and it just looks absolutely beautiful I absolutely love the box it's like kind of like a similar pink box but they made it like a party kind of theme so if you need to glossy box it costs £10 and it's £13.25 if you pay monthly but if you subscribe for a year it comes to 11 75 so you save some money there and it looks like this so happy birthday glosses it's happy 10th birthday i can't believe glossy box has been there for 10 10 years and i only subscribed last year because i didn't know about it wow so yeah let's get right into it so the first product it looks really really beautiful it's got like like it's got like that confetti in there as well hopefully you can see so it's a steve laurent i think that's how you say it palette and it's the celebration celebration edition nine color eyeshadow palette so it looks like these compared to the box it's got like a, it's got like a lilac kind of color and the it's got a mirror and the shades look like this so it's a really nice and warm palette one thing i have to say about it the mattes feel really really creamy they got like this really nice they got like this really nice wet formula which i absolutely love and the shimmers are really really beautiful they feel creamy as well but i have to say the mattes feel a lot creamier than the shimmers it feels like it's really really nice quality and so yeah this is how the colors look like so you got a black you got a base for your transition uh, you got a few shimmers like uh, two golden shimmers an orange one and a brown one and then you got this to darken your corner you can use this brown and this brown for your crease so yeah so many great options and what i like about this palette you can you can use it for, on a daily basis like you can go to work with it or you can um, go out with it with your friends or wherever you go wherever you go in uh, neutral eyeshadow you can take everywhere so yeah I absolutely love it and I am wearing it today so I created this look with it the palette is 23 pound so yeah I absolutely love it next item we have a Lottie Lottie London ombre blush so the box looks like this so it's a mini size but i think obviously blush you don't need to use a lot it's got like an ombre effect can you see like it goes from light orange to pink i'm not sure if you can see that but yeah that's really beautiful and i think it's on color haze how much is this so this is 5.95 and yeah like i said it's so beautiful because it has that ombre effect i actually have it on it gives you like this nice pink kind of color and you don't need a lot i absolutely like been using my brush like that and then it was too much so yeah you don't need a lot so uh, having a mini is not too bad because it's a really really pigmented blush it's so far so good then I always wanted to try this brand and it's the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream so it looks like this it's a mini size so you can try it which I really appreciate and it says it's anti-wrinkle day cream anti-aging which sounds absolutely amazing so yeah so looking forward to try Elemis and this is £30 wow that is a lot for a mini size but this brand is really expensive so i'm not surprised for the full size which is 50 ml is 87 pound wow and it says yeah it says what i said it's anti-aging it's highly moisturizing 
Um, it's got ultra light gel cream that quenches thirsty skin and increases hydration. So yeah, so far so good. Let's give it a smell. Oh, I don't think it's got a scent. Oh, I've got too much. So, oh, let me see. It's got like this white kind of color, but actually absorbs really, really fast. Oh yeah, it does have a scent, but like a, I couldn't even describe it, like a herb, fresh kind of scent. So yeah, oh, looking forward to trying that out. Maybe in the future having like a bigger size. Oh, I love it. It smells really, really nice. Yeah, excited. You know, this month it feels like a lucky bit because it's got these nice... Um, I'm not sure how you call these, but it has like this nice papers which you put your hand in there. It feels like a lucky dip. <laughs> so we have, obviously, I think everyone would have got a front body. Uh, there was different variations. So I got the Sexy Mother Buckle Lip Gloss from Soap and Glory. So it looks like these. And it's like pink with reflect on it and I have it on at the minute so it looks like this and it's like a mauve, I'll say like a mauve pinky kind of shade and it's really plumping you can feel the burning for a bit I mean I put it on doing the tutorial and I can still feel it burning a little bit but yeah it's so so beautiful I was gifting this one to my friend because I already own it but yeah I appreciate getting these because like with the palette and the blush, you can do a full face, so that's nice. It's uh, You can get it from Boots and it's £5. The full size is £9. Next product, we have a NL, is, no, a NCLA Los Angeles treatment and it's a vitamin E infused cortical oil. It looks like these, so you can see it's got light stars inside. I mean, can you see? Wow, it's so beautiful. It's got like a dropper. So it smells really nice. Oh, it smells really nice. Let's put it on. I know it's supposed to use it on your nails, but oh, it feels really, really hydrating. Really, really hydrating. It smells really, really nice. Let's see what it's got. I can't tell. It's a limited edition birthday cake scented. Oh, that's what it smells like. It smells like birthday cake. It smells sweet. Oh, I love that. That goes with theme very much. And then it says, containing safflower seed oil, vitamin E, to nourish your cuticles. Yeah. Yeah, really nice if you like to paint your nails. Even if you don't paint your nails, this will strengthen your nails, which is, which is really nice. And... You get like a bit, like some pieces of glitter. So yeah, I absolutely love that. I'll say how much that was. It's thirteen pound eighty. Wow, impressive. You had an extra item which I really appreciate, and I'm looking forward. I put it on the fridge. I don't know if you can see. It's cold, and it's the I think it's Ocean Spray. I think that's the brand. Sparkling pink cranberry and it's got pink red and white cranberries it's low calorie and vitamin c so yeah thank you glossy box for this extra item i can't wait to try it and yeah i absolutely love this month this month's box i think it goes with the theme very well like like birth it smells like birthday cake which is beautiful like the palette as well goes with the theme so so yeah, just to recap, we've got the palette, the cuticle oil, the gloss, the blush, and the cream. So you could do a face, you could do a full face with this because you could use this as your primer or even when you took all your makeup off to hydrate your face. So yeah, absolutely amazing. Plus the extra drink. So I think this month's box, I'm really happy about it. Um I think having it a bit later, I think I got it on the 16th and having all these nice items was so worth it. So thank you Glossy Vox for curating this box and choosing choosing every single item because I'm looking forward to trying every single one. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like all the products that we got on this month's boxes. And if you got the mask, I, I bet that feels super, super hydrated. I would have loved to try it, but I love the gloss as well. What can I say? I love this gloss. So I'm so happy I got it as well. So if you want to see how I did my face with this month's products, you can see the tutorial and um, I'll see you there. So this is the tutorial part. Obviously, if you've seen my unboxing, you've seen the Steve Laurent palette. I think that's how you say it anyway. And this is what we're going to use today. And as I showed you before, this is what the palette looks like. So very, very warm palette. So we're going to start with the, basically this one, the beige one, which could be perfect for like the transition. And I'm going to be using my JS8. So going into the beige one, which don't have any names. But let's see what it looks like. So, oh, it's, it's not fully like a beige colour, it's more like a light orange kind of colour. So this is going to work as a transition. The really nice quality and hopefully you can see and they blend very well. I like this palette because it's warm. The other one we had is it was more like cool colours. I like that now we had a warm palette. So they thought obviously what we received before and added like something else for our collection which I really appreciate. I'm gonna go into this one here which is like a medium brown kind of shade so it looks like chocolatey brown and this one I'm just gonna place it on my crease and run it all over, all over my eye so placing it basically on the outer corner really I think I said it wrong and then taking it all over my crease I like how these shades are really creamy I think the mattes are even creamier than these shimmers which is absolutely amazing and I really appreciate having this palette because you can wear it to wear, you can wear it to absolutely everywhere because it's a neutral palette. So everybody can wear it. You can do pops of colour as well. I think it's great. Just blend it with my JH30. JH30. So just quickly blend. Just want to do a quick tutorial so it's not too long. I'm just going to go into the deepest shade which is this one. Uh, on the outer corner just for like that warmth and depth so just here I'm having some fallout I didn't actually have fallout from the others but I did from this one so it just gives like that depth can you see how chocolatey it is looks really really nice my foundation is looking really pale today I use the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation and it seems to be a bit pale but we'll fix it with um, the bronzer. We'll fix it. Flick. Oh, we'll fix it in a bit. For shimmers got really beautiful colours, we got like two golden colours, like this look very similar but I think this one is um, a bit darker and we have like an orange one, we have like a brown one, this is like more like a satin kind of black. So I was thinking going into this gold one for the inner corner, start with that golden shade and oh it's more like an orange I thought it was a golden one it's more like an orange kind of color it's more like a bronzy I'll say it's like a bronzy kind of shade I think so can you see hmm because this one seems to be similar to this one let me do it. swatches really a bit darker that one in the middle so this is the one I use in my inner corner and this one is the gold in the middle 
Um, I think I'm gonna go with this uh, red, like a uh, wine kind of shimmer. It's nice. So you go going from a gold into a red kind of shimmer. I think that's beautiful. Do the same here. They feel really, really creamy, which is really nice. Just to define my inner corner here, I'm going to take the gold that I took at the beginning, define my line so it's all connected. And I think in here I did it a bit better, in here as well. So it's all nice and connected. Oh, perfect. I'm going to come back to the deepest shade after using that shimmer again and just quickly run it on my outer corner and my crease a little bit so you don't have any any harsh lines with the uh, shimmer. Just quickly I'm going to use the one I use for my transition for my lower lash line. Just run it all over my lower lash line. This is like a really beautiful beige colour, beige orangey colour. Then I'm going to use this medium shade and just run it like probably two thirds. Run it two thirds of my lower lash line and connect it in the outer corner there. Then with my JH, JH30. I'm just going to blend it. Blend it. This one, J7. I'm just going to do some black liner. Just really simple. I'm not going to make a wing with this satin kind of black, a thin liner. Yeah, works perfectly as liner. Do the same on the other eye. I'll put mascara on and I'll be back. Okay, so I quickly use the nourishing mascara, which don't give you loads of volume, but gives me natural kind of lashes, which is not too bad. And then I use my Huda Beauty, which is the pencil, this one, the pencil liner. So I used it on my lower lash line and it gives you like that depth and it, it, it's really creamy and it's one of my favourite liners have to use, if not my favourite it's absolutely perfect I use the Kinder Bronzer Kinder Beauty Bronzer that we had last month to give me like a bit of warmth as well and I use the Jekka Black Highlighter so I don't know if you can see I don't know if you can see but it gives me like this natural kind of glow so I absolutely love it and now we're going to use the Lottie London blush so it looks like a pinky coral kind of colour I never actually used a Lottie London blush before wow it's really pigmented so you don't really need a lot wow look at that that is pigmented I think I might overdone it. Wow, that is easy to blend as well. So I put a bit across my nose. Use my sponge that I use for my foundation. But yeah, look how beautiful. It's like a like a pinky kind of blush, which is the blushes I really enjoy using. Wow, beautiful. I love that. I will be using these a lot plus it's small but you don't really need a lot it's got like a ombre effect see if I can show you can you see that how it starts orange at the bottom and it goes pink at the top wow so yeah absolutely love the color it gave me like a really really beautiful flush of pink color so that is a yes from me and then to finish just lips Instead of the Fram Body Mask, I got the uh, Sexy Mother Poker from Soap and Glory. So it's like a shimmery gloss. 
it's plumping as well so it's good it's gonna make your lips like sting for a very long time so I have experience with these um it's on plum soap that's the shade so I own this one which is on plum soap I don't know if it's the same one is it the same one it looks similar so I am going to use the one I got opened anyway so I don't obviously use this one I might gift this one to a friend so I'll use this one I'm going to use the Steve Lawn liner that we had last month uh, last month last year in August I believe which I thought it would be really perfect pair with this one so I thought why not This is like a berry kind of colour, like a mauve kind of colour, I'll say. And it feels really creamy as well. So I'm just going to fill my lips as well. Oh, I broke it. Well, that'll do. It's not super creamy to fill your lips, but it lines your lips quite well. So, so yeah, this is how it looks. Like a movie kind of colour. And let's use the plum soap. It smells. It's got like a sweet scent. I couldn't really tell what the scent it is, but it smells really nice. And let's, let's get ready for this thing. Smells very nice though. Oh, look how beautiful that colour looks. Maybe it'll start in a minute. <laughs> okay, I can feel it already. And... I actually really really like this product. I think I would have enjoyed the mask as well because I love face masks but don't get me wrong having a palette and a gloss to complete a look that's amazing. Oh I remember this thing in a bit more maybe I'm confusing it with with another one. Hmm. So yeah it looks really really beautiful hopefully it looks well together with my look. Um, yeah, I believe you could wear this together. I just wanted to try this month's products, so hopefully you enjoy my tutorial. Let me give you a close-up. Can you see how all the colours, like the golden shimmer with that red shimmer, and all the brown colours, like the liner and the liner I use. Oh, it's starting to sting now. I can feel it. <laughs> it tastes a bit. And the satin liner on here and it all looks very very nice all together I absolutely love it definitely I can definitely feel it now so it takes a minute to stink but I like it because it's a plumping glass and it's gonna make your lips a bit bigger it's like a pinky kind of shade as you can see so it makes your lips really juicy I really really like it I'm glad I got it because I can gift it to my friend and she will give it some use. Obviously I got the mini size and the big size as well so um, I'm not going to use another another one. But I can gift it, she'll be happy with that. So yeah, I absolutely love this month's box. I think we had a, we had a blush, we had a, a palette, we had the gloss. And then all the other products which were really really nice as well so yeah i absolutely love playing with these colors hopefully you enjoy my tutorial i feel like my look is very autumnal looks like very very nice for autumn but i think i would have paired it i would have paired it with maybe like a brown lipstick but this one is not looking so bad it's absolutely stinging oh my god um, it, it does go in a, like a minute or two. You could create so many different looks with the palette because it's got 
really really nice browns in the beige oranges so yeah I absolutely love it I hope you enjoy my tutorial today if you want to recreate and tag me on Instagram I would love to do that I would love to see that and I hope you guys um yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next video bye